Okay, here we are, beginning of the job. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this roof on top of the roof. You're gonna see that I've got uh, old tarps up there and they've pretty much been preventing this roof from leaking for the last nine years. But uh, you're gonna see all these plexiglass panels. When I uh, first moved here, I had originally put those panels on and it's kind of nice, okay? It covers up the patio covers up the pool deck it allows us to come out here even when it's raining and storming and matter of fact my office is out here but anyway we'll get we'll be back uh, in about two seconds uh, and we're gonna start this project here we go okay here we are this is the uh, patio roof over our screen in patio with the pool and you can see that the tarp the last tarp that I put I think it lasts about three or four years but we're gonna replace this tarp and the one under it the next thing we have to do is we have to take both layers of the tarps which uh, the first one was put on about eight or nine years ago but they both have to come off so that's what we're working on right now we'll be back and here you have it tarps are off back to plexiglass and we'll be back for the next step so see you soon after about 11 years all the tarps are off just plexiglass and isn't it a beauty we're gonna redo the whole thing. It's gonna be like brand new. And it won't leak. We'll be back. Okay, so here we are. What I basically did was I put a primer coat, a rough coat, on the entire ceiling. And you'll see all those beams up there. Basically what I did, each one of them is an individual plexiglass panel. So there's a seam between each panel and uh, I had to fill all those seams with the sealer. So the next step is to roll a coat. I basically brushed this coat on. Next step is to roll a full coat on the entire ceiling. And we'll be back. Okay, so now what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, patch up all the seams around all the uh, plexiglass panels. We're using Henry's wet patch. And you'll see all of these seams where it's all screwed in around the edges. Right? And then uh, you're going to see that I've already patched quite a bit of it. Once we get done uh, patching everything, we're going to go ahead and roll that sealer put a couple of more coats on top of the whole roof and I don't I don't believe that that'll ever leak again anyway we'll be back and here you go all the seams are patched now tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and put a, a sealer coat over the entire roof and we'll be back okay we're back and uh, it rained last night and you're gonna see that we have a couple of puddles but you'll notice that the puddles are in the middle of the plexiglass and you know that plexiglass doesn't leak because it's glass so I'm just gonna sweep them off sweep off those puddles and we're gonna go ahead and seal it again we'll be back okay so here's what we're gonna be putting on the roof it's corrugated plastic and you'll see that it fits nicely inside the BMW X5. 12 feet long by 27 inches wide. I got seven pieces. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And uh, basically what we're going to be doing now with these panels is we're going to be putting some uh, PL Proline construction adhesive between each panel so that we can merge them together. And uh, again, this is what we're going to be using. PL Proline Premium. It's called Loctite. Pick it up at Home Depot and uh, we're going to show you how we do this. Okay, so we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And basically, uh, these panels are 26 inches wide by 12 feet long. And they're pretty light. You can actually pick up like three of them with no problem at all. They're very light. And uh, here's the adhesive that I spread out on the seam. 
and uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect the other panel because the more panels we can connect on the ground is less work that we have to do on the roof. So we'll be back. Okay, so we put the panel on and basically I'm just gonna use a little stick and I'm gonna kind of rub all the way down the seam. Press that uh, adhesive in good, okay? So we'll be back. You'll notice that we've got three panels connected. Okay, so uh, here's the next step. The uh, actual pieces on the roof have to be 13 feet, six inches. These panels are only 12 feet. So basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting pieces and uh, actually I'm cutting them at two feet. So we have six inches left over. So when we stick a piece onto the main, the main piece, it's got enough to bond to. So there we go. We're gonna put that on and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take that broomstick and kind of uh, make sure everything's seated properly. So we'll be back. Okay, so here we are. We're putting these uh, extensions onto the panels. As you'll see over here, I have two left, or excuse me, two already done. And uh, we're gonna put this third piece on, but I wanna make sure that uh, you guys see how I uh, put the adhesive on to make everything bind properly, okay? So we'll be Okay, back. we're back. Uh, what I really wanted to show you is how much adhesive I put on, and also that little part right there uh, has to be done pretty good too. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put that on now, and we'll be back. And remember that this is the underside of the roof, so when we get on the roof, and we put this on, this will be flipped upside down, okay? Okay, so we have the uh, extensions, all four of them, in place, and uh, ready to go. We'll go okay, back. here we are. We have four panels, all put together. I'm gonna let that adhesive dry. It takes about 24 hours for it to, clear, uh, to uh, cure. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it up. I'm gonna tie it with a rope. I'm gonna bring it up to the roof and roll it back down. So we'll see you tomorrow. Let this stuff cure and we'll be ready to rock and roll. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. And uh, you're gonna see I have one more panel which I'm not going to attach to the uh, entire roof at this time. It's gonna be a lot easier to get this thing on the roof and be able to uh, make that last piece fit. As you'll see, we have five sections. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll that up. We're gonna tie it up and we're gonna bring it to the roof. We'll be and back. there we go. It's all rolled up, ready to bring up on the roof. And we'll be okay. back. Okay, we got the roll up on the roof. And we'll be back. Okay, uh, here we are. We laid everything out. You'll see we got a nice little, nice fit. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, use that uh, adhesive all over the place we'll be okay back. we're back on the roof today and uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to use some gardener wet or dry wet or dry basically and uh, it's roof cement so let's go over here and you'll see what i did we had to seal that wall all the way down okay kind of tighten things up a little bit and uh, that's about it now we still have this space over here that we have to do but I want to get everything else done first before we start uh, filling everything back in okay so we'll be back but it's looking pretty good looking pretty good okay Talk before we soon. leave for the day I just want to give everybody a, a quick shot that's where we're at today We'll be back tomorrow. Catch you then. Bye for now. Okay, we're back. As you'll notice, I've got these zip screws with these big washers. And basically what I did, let me zoom in on this. You're going to see that I screwed in every once in a while. And then I put the uh, cement over the screw and the washer so that uh, they won't rust. Or leak, for that matter. And there you see every once in a while I tack it down and I also use the uh, adhesive underneath in between the panels just just make sure everything's secured 
you can see it on the edge over there. And that's about it. All we have left is this right here. So when I get ready, I'm going to go buy a couple more panels. I need two more panels. And then uh, we'll be done. But we'll be back. Catch you soon. Okay, Bye I'm on now. top of the roof. I just want to uh, get a nice little picture, nice little video of the project so far. And there you have it. We're about 85% done. See you when we get back. Okay, we're back on the roof. And I've got these uh, extra two panels that we needed to fill everything in. You'll see that I butted it right up against that, uh, that gutter over there. And uh, we're going to tack everything down, seal everything up. And I got one more little piece right there that we have to cut. And then uh, we'll be done. But I want to show you something if I can. I want to show you how I overlapped the panel. You see how much extra I have? So basically what it's doing is it's overlapping all of this way and it actually makes it sturdier too if you want to stand on it. So uh, we'll be back. Just wanted to show you. Okay, right so now. here what we're doing is we're going to uh, add the adhesive to the seam. And you remember the previous video that I showed you that there's lots of overlap. Okay, and we'll also be putting the adhesive along that back wall to secure that wall as well. So I'm going to go all the way down, got a long way to go, and we'll be back. Okay, you'll see that we've uh, pretty much got everything in place. I got a, a little more adhesive to put over there in the corner, but uh, you'll see that I even uh, re or re-adhesived this main strip. And even though we have a big overlap, we just want to be careful and want everything to be secure so it doesn't blow away in a hurricane. So again, all we have to do is that little corner right there and we're done. We'll be back tomorrow because I still have to put some zip screws on the ends with the washers, got to put the, uh, the uh, cement on and stuff like that. And we have to seal up this gutter along that gutter edge right there. Not sure how we're going to do that yet. Probably the cement. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Okay, before we go for the day, I just wanted to show everybody a full picture of where we're at. Nice fit. It's looking good. We'll be back. Okay, I just want to show everybody. We're back today again. Just want to show everybody the zip screws and how we put those zip screws in. And then basically what we do is we put some patch over them just like that so they don't rust and uh, we're uh, finishing up here today and we'll be back when we're done okay okay right here we are got that last piece in and you'll notice how I stuck that right under the gutter so we're gonna be back because we still have to put the washers on I just want to let that adhesive dry and then we'll button it up and then we'll uh, worry about this gutter line over here which needs some work we'll be back okay now yesterday when we finished we ended up uh, putting these two pieces on right up to the gutter and you remember the overlap that I had big overlap I ran a bead of adhesive all the way down and uh, that's not going anywhere so what we have to do now we have to take that gardener cement and uh, you'll notice how the adhesive is bonded to the wall and the panels we're gonna go ahead as a precaution and we're gonna put that gardener's uh, uh, cement over top of that so we'll okay. be okay so here we go the uh, back side is all filled in and uh, the only thing we have to do is worry about this gutter edge Right here, you can see actually, you can see part of the roof underneath, and we're gonna find a way to protect that area so it doesn't leak behind that gutter. You'll see down in the end, we're letting that dry down there. Then we're gonna tack it up, button it up, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, I just wanted to show everybody something. 
You'll notice I've only got two little pieces left of the uh, roofing uh, corrugated plastic. So I remember, you know, when I was a kid, I was told by a good builder, it was my grandfather as a matter of fact, that uh, if you build a whole house, you shouldn't have any more than a half a bushel full of wood by the time you get done building the entire house. So I just wanted to make sure everybody makes proper measurements so that I don't have too much extra at the end of the day. Okay, there you go. Tip for the day. Talk to you soon. Bye for okay. now. Okay. We're back. So what we're going to do now with this last piece, remember I told you about the carpenter, we want to use as much as we can. So we're going to be cutting this last piece into strips for the gutter line, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, here we are on the roof again. And basically what we're doing now is we're gonna straighten up that uh, gutter line. As you'll see, I cut a nice little piece for this corner over here. And the reason that that's pitched is because if you look here, you'll see that it's pitched towards the house. We don't want that. We want the water to come over here on the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and let that cure. We're gonna hit it again with some more adhesive and then probably put some uh, cement over it. So we'll be back. Okay, you'll notice that I put a little piece on the end too. And I just tacked it up for today. But we're going to go ahead and finish the rest tomorrow. All of this is tacked down. We're going to let it cure 24 hours. And uh, you'll see I got this little piece over here too. And then uh, the flashing is going to go all the way down that gutter line. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Catch you later. Okay, so anyway, I thought I was leaving, but I just wanted to show everybody basically what it's going to look like when we're done. You'll see I have that panel right there, right up against that gutter, all the way down. And uh, basically any water that comes off the roof is going to go directly uh, onto the plastic corrugated roof and uh, hopefully in the pool. So we're going to fix this corner up tomorrow. Got a little bit of work to do, but we'll be back. Talk okay, here we are, back on the roof again. And you'll see that uh, I went ahead and uh, resealed and buttoned this corner up right here. And uh, you're going to see that I also, earlier, tacked up this piece. So we'll be back. Okay, here we are. We are done with this project. You can see how I buttoned this whole corner up. And you're going to see right there how I, uh, I merged the uh, panel that I put on top of the gutter and I sealed the uh, top of the gutter. I sealed the, the piece to the, uh, to the roof and uh, it's all one solid piece. And by the way, remember I told you about the carpenter? Well, I have that piece and that little piece right there. But anyway, just give everybody a good look. Let's zoom in on over here. And uh, we're looking pretty good. Everything's sealed up all the way around. And there you have it. We're going to take another one up, up on top of the roof. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Okay, here we are, our first rain. And you'll see that that water coming right off that roof and into the pool. That's a wonderful thing. I never have to fill my pool up because that water comes right into the pool. And there you have it. And guess what? No leaks. No leaks. Hallelujah. There you have it. Talk to you soon. Bye Let's now. just get another shot of that water coming off that roof. Beautiful thing, right? Okay, we're on the top of the roof. I just want to get one more one more shot of the completed project done on November 7th, 2018. And uh, looking pretty good, looking pretty good. 
please do me a favor and like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i'd really appreciate it thank you so much and have a great day until the next project we're out okay one more thing i forgot to mention now you know once we have the uh, patio roof on it's not raining we also put lights night lights so that we can see on the patio now there's no way that you can put floodlights and regular lights on a screen in patio without having problems. But uh, this is it. This is the deal. Now we have a beautiful patio. Okay? So we'll leave you that. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.